Hey guys, welcome back to more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, um, the plan here is what I was going to do last time, but kind of got sidetracked because I went into depths. But the plan is still to try and get all of the other... Um, Skyview Towers, yes, that's the name. I was just trying to find, think of the name, but it just didn't come to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to keep on getting those Skyview Towers. Oh, I see a shrine. I'm going to go for that shrine. But, yeah. Wow, actually the distance traveled is actually very... Um, not far. Oh. This is going to be nice. Uh, most used fire fruit. Oh. Wow. Okay, that was pretty satisfying. Uh, now I just have to kill this one. Which should be pretty easy, I think. <laughs> Oh, my axe is almost done for... Oh yeah, I want to try out the bomb bear... Oh, right, that's right. Um, let me see. I can use this wooden stick. Use it with a bomb. Bomb on a stick. And then I assume... Yeah. That's what I thought. So I can't use it as like a normal weapon. But... Oh. Oh, my fairy saved my life. That was... Uh, I didn't intend for that. Well, at least I learned a few things there. Flaming weapons, if I fuse it, it still blows up. And I can fuse... Uh, other stuff to the bomb barrels and then I can use that as like a bomb projectile so that's cool okay so I killed a lot of those blue one blue bacoblins but I don't see their parts oh here it is Wait, what happens if I fuse one of these, uh... Well, let's take this out, because I don't really need it anymore. Destroy the fused weapon, take this stick, and then fuse it with the fan. And then I have a fan guster. Oh, okay. I see. Fire fruits, uh, horses. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, what? Let's see, that's a moblin. I don't really need those, so I think I'll just go for the shrine.
Combat training throwing. Steady your aim, then throw the weapon at the enemy. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay. Do I have enough throwing weapons still? Yep, yep, yep. Press and hold. Uh, I guess I'll throw this spear. Yes! Watch the enemy's movement and throw the weapon carefully. Okay, uh, I guess I'll use this moblin spear. Oh, I missed. Proven your mastery, now proceed to the innermost chamber. Okay, can I get up there somehow? Nope. Oh, there's... Okay, I can get a Zonite sword. Let's see what this is giving me. Uh, give me something good. Zonite Spear. Resonates with Zonite devices to slightly increase its path power. power. Okay. I wonder what happens if I stick a rocket on top of a spear. Well, I guess I'll try it. Later, I mean. Can't wait till I can actually like convert stuff into uh one of those like those packages so I can keep a bunch with me. I think that's probably gonna happen over time. Okay, that's another oh, I think I see a shrine really far away. Let's just mark that. Uh but right now I wanna head for those towers. Oh, he needs to reach his friend. Yeah. Where's his friend? Oh, it's right next to that shrine. Well... Yeah. Can I get a horse? No, I can't. Whoa. Where did he come from? He suddenly Arr! popped in. Gems, Gamalas, for example, Sapphire, Rupee, oh. Drooling, and... Yeah. Okay. I will take out this blue Bokoblin because he has a lot of apples. I wonder if there's a way to tell if a tree's gonna move or not. Okay, is there any way for me to get... Oh, I can break that. But is there any way for me to get that guy over there? He needs to reach his friend. But I don't think I have a way to really do that. Dave, 
That has... Oh, these bats. Bats. Uh oh, gotta heal up. Oh. Electric keys eyeball attach one an, an arrow to kind of homing quality to the arrow, and then it has electricity. Electricity it electrically charged and will shock everything around it when stimulated. So I can make an electric weapon. Yeah, so so far this cave was pretty worthwhile, lots of minerals. Uh what's this? I think it's something that needs Ooh, truffle, nice. Hey, okay. oh, there's a big hole and some bombs. Bombs, I want bombs. I'm gonna grab this. Bomb flower, I don't really care too much about that. Look up there. I saw a few, um, skeletons down there, so I assume that they'll wake up once I land on the floor. Yeah, exactly. Which I will then use this sapphire sword. Just salt. Uh, what else can I do? Rusty halberd. I'm not sure I really want to use that, but. Rusty halberd. Okay, so there's one more path there. What is this hole? It's so deep. And there's like so many different pathways. Is this like a multi cave system or something? Or maybe this is. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Open the chest. Let's see what's in here. Soldier shield. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Get rid of the flame and meta shield. I don't really like that one. get around that. I guess I'll just walk faster. Okay, I think I need bomb springs. And then now I can hit the red thing.
No, the light click stone. Yep. Road all the way off the... Oh, soldier's bow. Nice. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore that stone. It's not that important. Or at least maybe I might regret it in the future. But I don't know what the light click stone does at the moment, so... <laughs> I don't want to backtrack too far. Oh, what's that? There's a sharp looking thing. Diamond! Wow, 25 damage. And I assume the durability is super high because it's a diamond. Shock fruit. A shock like stone. Maintain some charge even outside the creature. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. But I can make electric weapons from that, I think. Amber? That's not really great. Kind of mediocre. Okay. Let's try to break this uh, stone wall. Hey, uh... Oh, this is one of those underground shrines. Oh, there must be armor in here. I remember this. Rubber armor, shock resistance. I mean, I guess that's okay. Is that... Though, I think there might be something else, because the marker isn't, like, it's still not tick, not checkmarked. So am I still missing something in here? I feel like this armor would have been it though. Is there still something that I missed, like a hidden room or something? Uh, and I have to look around. Boulder sledge. I went up there before. It was, that was just the um, chest, I think. This is the bow. This is also just regular stuff. Oh, I can't even- I don't even have enough stamina to climb back up. I have to use Ascend, but Ascend is gonna bring me up to some place that's beyond this map. <laughs> Yeah, bring me back right out of the surface. Well, whatever. There's not much I can really do. Yeah, I think I might have missed something, but it's probably something really minor, because usually the chest... Uh, I mean the... Usually the armor is like what you want, right? So I don't think anything that I left there would be too important. So I will forget it and just move to someplace else. Uh, I'm gonna steal some honey. And then the bees are gonna come after me. Oh, there's a tree. But I just wanted this thing. There it is. 
Oh, I get it. This must be one, um, something that I need to use the... This wind burst. Yeah. And then I guess I follow it? Or... What? I can blow this with a feathered spear, and then it flies up. And then what do I do? I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know what I can do with this. Can I shoot it? I can't even shoot it. What do I do with this? Maybe I have to blow it up. So I hit it. And then I use fireproof. What happens if I take a Bokoblin arm and fuse it with a Bokoblin? <laughs> oh, 40 damage. That money should be really amazing. Oh yeah, I keep getting sidetracked. I was gonna go for shrines. And the big sky view towers. There's nothing really important here. Oh, there's a, a giant guy. supposed to get up above this house. Can I disarm them or something? Or maybe I can... Oh, I can. I can do that. Oh, be careful not to die. But yeah, I can actually do that. Ascend through the, the tiles. This isn't even a hard fight. I just don't want to use my fire fruits, which I I should actually. I wasn't I didn't know I, I saved up so much fire fruits. Okay. Forget that I'm just gonna use Wait, why is there no wind? So there is wind now. 
Took down that talus. Uh, I can probably use this hammer with this, right? Stone talus heart. Oh, I can add it to my shield and then all the super strong shit. Yeah, I'm gonna make a big hammer. Nice, Ruby. That makes it worth it. Okay, now let's head over to that direction. Oh yeah, I was... Oh, right. I was supposed to try and find, like, um, something to help that Korok move to his friend, but then I completely forgot about it. So now I don't know where that Karak is, I didn't even mark it on my map. Looks like a NPC. And this was the cave that I went in, right? Yeah. The one that I didn't manage to get everything. Oh, this is where the guy who needs his friend is. Okay. I'm gonna leave a leaf here because I don't have a horse. If I did, I would be able to bring him over. Unless I can call my horse. No, I can't. I haven't seen one of those, like, um, gloom hands in a while, so I wonder what triggers them to, like, spawn. Last time I uh, ran into it was, like, I was in Hyrule, I think? The Hyrule Fields. There's a shrine there. And then there's a shrine up there. Oh, but I'm out of ping, uh, out of pins. That's probably another depths. And there's a little camp there, which I'm not gonna bother because I just want the shrine.
Okay, so there's some geoglyphs over there. Which I can probably mark. No geoglyphs. Is over here somewhere. We'll put a star in the geoglyph. I wonder what's going to be in this one. Another combat trial? Because it seems like this area is kind of all combat trials. Wait, where did all my clothes go? Moving grounds, beginner. So I, oh, okay. I just use absolutely nothing. I mean, everything that like they provide. Oh, it is a combat trial. Okay, that's interesting. will be returned to you. Oh, okay. Do I get to keep the stuff that I picked up here, though? Or... Still no. Nope. Oh, it's good that I didn't use this giant spike, so now I can have a... Windy spike. No, I don't want any of that, though. Did it leave any weapons for me? Nope. Whatever. I guess I'll just use a sword or a spike. Oh, it becomes a hammer. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Spring shield? Okay, that sounds really useful. It reduces the amount of energy used by a Zonide device. So if I stick in one of those fire breathing ones on the front, I'll probably be able to like... I'll probably be able to use it longer. Okay, that's another shrine down. Let's see, how many- is that a marker? I think I see like, it says I completed 18 shrines so far? Maybe? Okay, so which direction am I heading now? Is that one the closest? Like, where is that? That's this one and this one. Yeah, I guess I'll head over to this direction. Or that direction. I'm actually not too sure which direction is the closest uh, sky view tower, but I guess I'll just go this one since it's the one I see. Or maybe I should actually go after these. Uh... Oh, I think I did this one, so I don't need it anymore.
What happens if I use this and I fuse it with the bolt? I get three attack. Okay. Anything special that goes with it now? Nope. Let's see. This is a cart, but there's not a lot of different things to go with it, so I think it's actually kind of useless. Yeah, nothing over on that side either. Oh, there's actually a, someone using a cart. Hi. Hi. Well, you're a gloomy face of someone who can find what you're looking for. I bet you need a bright hat. <laughs> Don't want to carry a light, become the light. Oh, whoops, I want to buy something or at least see what they have. Let's see, Hylian, Shroom. Yeah, not that useful, actually. Ah. <laughs> Uh, nothing really special here either, but I do see that little rock thing and usually there's a lot of constructs there. Yep. So I'm gonna go collect the constructs. Man, I wonder if these material drops get upgraded so I can get like zone 9 gear or something. Let's go, let's go, go. Whoa, what is that? That is kind of cool. It looks like a giant cannon. Stop taking that. Oh, no, I got hit. Wow, I kept on get. Uh, Why is the game over green this time? Is it because I got shocked to death instead of beating to death? Oh, man. I think Tears of the Kingdom is significantly harder than Breath of the Wild, because I don't remember having, like, so many, like, dying that much. Wow, that blew me up. Oh, that's so cool. I want that cannon. Give me that cannon. <laughs> Oh, I I wow, that hit really hard. Okay, I need to bring out my big weapons, because, like, otherwise, I'm just going to die. Okay, it doesn't help that the frame rate is dying because there's so much going on and there's a lot of enemies. Go to this side. Wait, I can fuse that. I'm gonna take this and destroy the fused material. And then I will fuse this. Beam emitter. Yeah. The cobbler swords. I 
frames are dying. Wow, this is insane. Oh god. I almost got the hit. Cannon shield looks good. Shield, I wait, is this different from this? Oh, okay. okay, now I have the cannon shield. What is this beam emitter shield? Oh, oh, that's so cool! That is so cool. Definitely feels Captain Construct 2 Horn. Ah, and I can get a beam emitter club. I have a strong construct bow. I think I have a bow that I can throw away. Yeah, I can throw that away. Oops. And I can have a construct bow. And then just pick up all this other stuff as well. Awesome. Fruit. Okay, kind of got a slight power up. Hopefully these weapons are actually good against enemies with shields or something like that. Because, I mean, it's a laser group, so it has to be good, right? And I also have a cannon, but I don't know how good that cannon actually is. Especially if there's, like, uh, team damage? No, no, self-damage. Because I don't want to kill myself with that. Wow. Oh, lots of meat. Prime meat too. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is a Korok puzzle. Well, I mean, it's not really a puzzle, you just kind of follow it. And boom. Okay, that's good. I saw some fire fruits here, so I'm gonna pick up some more of those. Soldier's Spear. I think this is actually good. So I can take the Soldier's Spear and... Hmm. I don't know, I'll think about it later. But yeah, I, I was actually uh, remotely surprised to see how strong the... Uh... Bokoblin... Skeleton weapons were? Because when I fused two of them, they were doing 40 damage. So it was basically like a really fragile but extremely strong weapon. So that's actually pretty great. Uh, this looks like something that you can probably burn. So let's see how that works. Fire fruit. No. Yeah, no. Oh, I can just pull it out. That's... Interesting. Knight's Halberd. Okay, I'm gonna throw this away and get a Knight's Halberd.
Beam Emitter Club. And then for the shield, I guess I can use this cannon shield. How does it work though? Oh, it just fires. Okay, I think I'll just use a regular shield then. Uh, what is that? What's that? Oh no, that's just grass. Or, yeah. Oh yeah, I should probably mark that. Uh, I died here, so this means this area is the construct, so I will have uh, a weapon here, which is where I can find constructs if I want to go in more weapons. Oh, there's actually a... Hmm. Maybe I'll mark that later. Okay, is there anything I really want here? Not really. What are they holding? Firefruits? Oh, that's a lot of firefruits. Yeah, definitely want to cut them then. Oh. Oh, what? It's a talus? Okay. It's a talus, but I definitely don't want to fight talus right now. So I will put a skull and then I will run. <laughs> shot okay i definitely don't want to fight that talus there just because it's there's too many mobs and i don't have a lot of health uh healing items left maybe i can no probably don't want to did it save my mark though no it didn't oh i have to go and mark it again oh wait no i don't I can just mark it here. Okay, rip. Uh, this is where the talus is, and then I won't walk over there. That is a well. Okay, I'm gonna go check out that well. Okay, uh, the rooms. Nothing else interesting here. Just this well. Uh, I think I can break it, right? This hammer? I think so far the thing that uh, impresses me the most about like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is that there's a lot of verticality from the sky all the way to the depths and like there's absolutely no loading screens there which is kind of surprising for me because this is like really old hardware and it wasn't even strong to begin with when, it's, uh, when it just came out but this kind of experience is very surprising because like i was thinking like nowadays we have like those super fast ssds to really get rid of all the loading screens and stuff because you can just like instantly transition between two areas and but zelda's not doing that it, it's just kind of like hiding what you can see but it's actually already there so how they designed that system is kind of interesting i don't know how it works 
but it's not doing like the stuff that PS5 and Xbox is doing with their fast SSDs, where it's not really hiding anything, it's just loading really fast. But this is actually like hiding stuff. You're not seeing it, but it's loading in the background. But they're doing it in such a way that it's very seamless. Oh man, I need a bigger hammer. I guess this is, uh, this well should be marked as ore. Oh, there's actually a shrine here. Old blade. She could try. Oh, I saw that octopus. Can I shoot it? Yeah, okay. Let's see what else is there in here. Just amber and luminous stone. Uh, there's an octopus there. Oh, I think I have to use a bomb for that one. There's no way I can reach it. Which, there's another from there, so I just got the one I used. Okay. Uh, oh, well, this is slippery. Is there something that makes the walls stickier or something? I think there's that that bug. I mean that lizard, right? That can make things stickier. Uh, I don't see it though. So how do I even get up there? I don't understand. Like it's it's so slippery. I can't get up there. Can I use the cannon shield and get up there? Nope. Definitely not enough. Uh... Okay. How do I get up this? It's so slippery. Okay, that's some a little bit of progress. And then 
A little bit more? No. Okay. Where else can I stand on this thing? Oh no, no, I lost my progress. Is it impossible to die? Like, what's happening here? Impossible to die from drowning or something? Like, my stamina kept on regenerating back up. Okay, is there any other way I can move up this? Oh, no. I don't see any other solutions. But there's no way they made a slope that you can't move up. Man, I have no idea. I'm just gonna revisit that later, I guess. Like, this is taking too long. Oh, I saw a truck. Oh wait, I, I think I have it. The idea... Oh yeah, I can use this. I keep on forgetting. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't see anything from this angle. So that place is too far.
Okay, so if I take this rock and I stick it here, does it fall down? Yes, it does. Wait, where did the rock go? Oh. If I stick this rock and put it here. I don't, I can't think of the way to get past that, um, so I will revisit that later. Oh, Octo Balloon, that's right. That's why there's so many octopuses here. Now it all makes sense, that's right. Wow, I wasted so much time when the answer was like super simple. I just have to take the octopus and just like stick it to this. So how do I use the octa balloon again? I don't remember. I think it's just octa balloon. Oof. Oof. Inga. Ish. Didn't really work as planned. Well, okay, back to the drawing board. Um, I think I'll just do the shrine. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get up there, so I'll just have to revisit it later. Um, but for now, I guess, because everything is so slippery. Like, I think it has something to do with, like, those uh, lizards that I've- those yellow lizards that I've been picking up. I think I need that. Because I can't even get on, uh, jump- like, fly up with the, uh, with the octo balloons.
Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this looks different. Different. Rarao's Blessing Soup Soup Strength. Wait, Rarao's Blessing? Does that mean I get a new power here? Magic. Magic stuff. Oh. I don't really want to throw away any of my weapons right now, though. I have a pretty good selection. I guess I'll toss away the two-handed axe. This looks like a up ability upgrade. Wait, that's it? Oh, I thought I would get, like, a new ability or something. I didn't get anything. I'm just gonna go and ascend up to the top because I can't think of a way to get to that little hole. I'm sure it's nothing like super important, but we'll probably have to really revisit that later. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I feel like that weird triangle building is probably construct. So I'm gonna go and take a look. No, not those hands again. Uh -oh. They spot me? Oh, yeah. How do I fight these? Just have to get far away enough. Hey, I think something dropped. What's that? Dark clump. An unusual substance. It's cold to the touch, but and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Oh, so that is a gloom. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so that thing is gloom, which I mean, I kind of already knew. Which is why it's so hard to fight, because it makes you slow and it also makes you weak. I think I see a town there. 
but I also want to go there. Is there anything in this? There's oh, helium herbs. That's good. I mean, hyro herbs. Uh, oh, there we go. One more crop. Oh, that's at the last second. Stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, let's head over to that side. To that side. To that side. Whoa, there's a big mob of blue buttons. And I see meat. Okay, let's raid them. Oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, let's rate them with a cannon. Oops. What? My shield broke. Okay, now let's use a little bit of these spears. No, not the spear. More uh, club, yeah. Now I have to use regular weapons. Oh no, sapphire sword. <laughs> wow, I almost died there. Oh, that did so much damage. Uh, I'm gonna eat some apples. Eat some golden apples. Was a great haul again. Okay, let's cut some. What does this magic staff do? What? It doesn't seem to really do anything. Uh, for this sword, I'm gonna put in the attack power. Not diamond, but definitely the blue boss. So I'm going to use this. Ooh. Is this a sword still? Yeah. Okay. It's still a sword, just kind of short. Okay, I'm going to put it in this. And everything looks good. Okay. Now, how do I get up there?
so there's a camp here. I wonder if this is the the muscle guy's camp, like the steam, uh, the the rock dudes. Oh no, this is just an enemy camp. What is that there? Oh, the sticky things. Oh no, those are shock fruits. I thought it was the sticky lizards. Okay, is there anything special about this pole? Nope. Is there anything special about these flowers? Nope, can't even pick it up. Oh, giant spike. Uh... I think I can stick this to the knight's halberd, so I'll do that. Let's use a beam emitter club. That's a new weapon. I've never seen that. It's like a fire sword. Yeah, I don't really like that shield swords. Breath Lazal Blade. Oh, okay, so it's just a Lazal Blade with the fire patch. Soldiers claim more. I don't like this one, so I'll throw it away. And then I can use this. Uh, pick up a Popo Spear. Extra Mortars. Oh, that looks cool. Thank you, thank you. No idea how it escaped that. Master for it, designed for cook. Oh, oh what was it? You know, take this for some money. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is good. Mm. 
Oh, I guess all these master forts always have this. So they added a way to. Narrowed fixed it. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I don't know what this magic staff does, but I kind of don't want to throw it away either. But everything else seems so good compared to that. Okay, I'm gonna smash stuff up this first. Okay, I think... Yeah, I don't remember a lot of these monster camps being in, uh... Breath of the Wild, so it seems like they added something to let you easily farm materials, uh, arrows, and all that stuff. Plus, like... These are actually pretty fun, and you also get a lot of monster parts as well, so it's good for rupees and upgrade materials as well. I think they added a lot of like quality of life upgrades, the improvements to the game. So that's always welcome for like it shows like they're basically learning from their past games and making it better. And like Breath of the Wild is already good. But I think with all these quality of life improvements, this game's like Tears of the Kingdom is actually probably better. And that's not an easy feat because it's really difficult to make a, an already great game even better. So that's really impressive to me. Okay, let's see if I can just mass cook stuff here. No? You'd think a huge fire like that would be better than this for cooking. I guess not. Let's see, what else? I want to cook mushrooms and all that. Okay, I need a pot. Is there a way to like cook ten times faster or something? Because the cooking in this is taking very long. And I always need more food. Like, of all the things that they did improve on, I was hoping like cooking would be one of them. Because I remember always spending so much time just preparing uh, stuff to cook. And it's just so time consuming that a lot of time I just spent sticking apples on fire and hoping that it would just be enough. I mean, it's kind of like what I'm already doing now, but I was hoping the experience would be better, but I guess it's not too huge of an issue that they just didn't bother addressing. I think I see a well down there. Yeah, I do. I see a well. At the same time, I also see this tower, so I'm gonna unlock the tower first, because I can just go down there. Wait, what's that? Oh. There's a well here too. Wait. Oh no, this is broken. That means I have to go down the well to fix it, I guess. There's a guy here. Oh. You, what are you doing in a place like this? No, it doesn't matter. 
Could you just help me? What's wrong? Uh -huh. I set up a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Oh. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of here. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. Begging you, mister. I'm just waiting here, trusting you. Oh, okay. So the cave entrance over there looks like the well that I was <laughs> afterwards. So I think it's the same. You say you got in the cave entrance this way, over there, which should be exactly where the well was. Or at least that's what I think. Should be like right here, that's where the well is, right? Yep, that's what I thought. Gormandus route with thorns. This is my truth. Alone. It's but this life does have its share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine to or need to shine the light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate fish cooked with a glowing cavefish, it produced more light than I did after my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect, or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond what lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight, or the lonely cook. Wait, I thought for sure this would be the place where... Oh. Oh, whoops. Okay. So, I mean, while I'm here, I'm just gonna go and cook some food as well. No, uh, that's this. And where's my flint? I guess this, using this method is actually probably better, so I don't have to go and look for the mushrooms myself. I mean, the, the food ingredients myself, and just like stick whatever, and then we'll be done. Just need normal food. Oh, 
That's a lot of food. Should have enough for now. Okay, I feel like it should have been here, but I don't see it. That's where the Tutno is. Okay, so I wasn't completely off. It really is this direction. It's just I didn't know there was an actual tunnel. A cave, I mean. Okay, so let's see. Food, roasted glass, apple. I should be able to activate the tower now, right? Because that was his job to attack the tower? Yeah. Or at least I think. Yep, he's there. Oh. Thanks for saving me again. Yes. So I'm doing maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to humility. Fix it in a jiffy. Mm. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. We need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. Pause. Friends at the construction company, so I'm going to be moving as soon as I come down. Okay, good stuff. That's another tower down. I think I have like four more to go. Oh. Man, these towers take me forever to get to each one, but I'm sure it'll be worthwhile after I unlock all of them. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
No, actually, I think there's like five left. Oh, there's another huge cluster. That's probably like the next. I mean, the another area with uh another sky city or something. There's a flower pedestal thing. Oh, and then there's a weird swirly thing. What the heck's that supposed to be? It looks like kind of like a vortex or something. Is that in the water? I can't tell. Okay. Is there a place where I can reach? I think I can actually reach that. So I will... I'll try to reach that. There's a, a one of those floating things. Oh, there's fairies. You definitely want one more of those because they save you if you die. So that's super helpful. Nice. Okay, can I grab another one? really high up so I don't know Grab it. I wonder if there's like a, a net option or something like that. Like, let me throw it on a net or something to hold on to something. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, okay, I see what this is. Okay, I see what this wants me to do. So it wants me to set this here. And then launch to the sky with two of those rockets. But can I get a controller or something? Nope, there's no controller. Maybe there is, but I just... Nope, there's no controller. Oh, this thing actually glides, so I'm not completely, like, dead before that. This is really dangerous to pilot. Can I tilt it up? I can. With my weight. So if I don't want it to be completely dead in the air, I can just tilt it. How does... 
How does the Zonite charge work? Let me see. No, I don't want to use that. Um, what are you doing? Stop. That. I need to remember to hold on to this. Um, let's see. Okay, I want to know what the zona charge does if I shoot it. Wait. Oh, is how a zona charge work? Is I just have to. Wait, what happened? Why did it disappear? I have no idea what happened. Why did it just suddenly disappear? Oh, I use it like this. It's like an item. You see. Okay, so Zonine charges are basically just consumables. I just use it to power it up. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering how to use that. Well, combat training shields. I like how I flew so far away only to land exactly right at a shrine. That's going to be really difficult. I'm not going to do that normally. Yep. Ready shield and parry. So there's still ruby rods. I thought they removed it with the since the the, the jumpy weird things only drop like a a sword with a an ore on top now. But I guess nope. This is still the same thing. Oh, I guess this is just maybe for rubies it's a little bit different. Okay, let's see what dropped here. Mighty Zonite Shield. What? This is super strong. Wow. That's actually really amazing. 50 defense shield? Wait, am I in some kind of like super end game area? Why is this stuff like suddenly so much stronger? That's worrying. Oh, I have eight, so I can actually upgrade my stamina twice. Okay, so that's where I am. Maybe I'm in like some kind of high level area. Because it's suddenly like all the stuff is so much, I mean, not all the stuff, just the shield is so much stronger than what I'm used to seeing. So maybe this area is actually super difficult. And I just somehow got here because I was on a lowly thing that I couldn't control. But let's see. Uh, there's stables down there. Maybe I can go to the stables. 
But do I want to? I don't think I want to go to the stables yet. Okay. Let's see. I can pick up some more mushrooms. But my goal right now is still to unlock the, uh, the whole map, so I want to find where the next sky view tower is. Oh. That's where it is. Let's see, is that... Nope, it's just regular... Um, yeah, regular... Uh, the That looks like an arena. Is that the arena that... Let's see, where is this? Uh, I think it actually is. Oh, that might be the, the, the re arena that was in Breath of the Wild. I remember there being one. Oh, Henix. Uh, sure, let's go farm that. Kill a Henix, get his horn. It never hurts to have more weapons or more boss parts on the stop. This is where you find the boss, and then I can fight him. Uh, I will use the... Soldier's Claymer Cat. Let's get over this and have another soldier bowl. Wow, I have like four soldier bowls. This is right next to the Colosseum too. Did you come here to see uh, the Sky View Tower? Looks like I uh, lost my uh, problem. I heard that the terminal of the Sky View Tower needs repair so I can fix it, but the door won't open. I have no clue why. The door is unlocked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Oh, of course I know it's a sliding door, that's what I meant, obviously. 
I worked out an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves were some tasty mushrooms. Oh. Yep, there are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting them all the time while we were building the tower. What does that have to do with this? I guess he's telling me to go like hunt mushrooms and then I guess the door will magically open if I hunt enough mushrooms. Wait, is this? Oh, that's the cave you're talking about. Oh, this wasn't the... It's this one. There's so many rocks in this one. Tireless Frog. Temporarily increase your maximum stamina. Oh, that's actually really good for, for exploring. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Small Sheikah shield made. It's designed to increase blind spot without sacrificing too much defense.
Oh, is this cave just one giant hole? I mean, like, circle? But it's not checkmarked yet. Does that mean I'm missing something still? Yeah, I kind of feel like I got everything, though. I don't see any. There's a rock blocking things. That's nine bubbles. Oh, another diamond. Nice. Wow, this dungeon's. I hope it responds. I can farm diamonds here. Okay, now I got that uh, check mark. That means. Okay, so. For sure, when you clear everything, that's when the check mark clears. Oh. I don't really want to fight the Talus, though. I kind of feel like fighting a Talus is like never worth it. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, it, was, oh, it was really short. Wow. Okay, now that was really worth it. Uh, do I want to use this gnarled fix stick? With the Stoptalus. I don't remember how much attack it gives. 13. 32 attack. No, well, that's actually pretty good. Okay, now I have to find that mushroom cave he was talking about. There's that dragon again. Oh, I wonder if those blue things on the dragon are Zonites. So I can jump onto that dragon to like harvest Zonite and then I can make charges. Wait, I wonder if the pen... Oh, I can't. 
I thought I could ping it. Blood bone. See, I already cleared out that hill. see those mushrooms use that but well The blood stain. Blood moon again, and then poof, everything's respawned. So I can go farm that Helix again. And the Talus. But I don't really want to bother with that. I'd rather find that mushroom cave that's talking about. I want to unlock that sky view tower. Where is that mushroom cave? What? Rod. Oh, okay. Now I finally have the rod. I thought the rod was no more, but I guess it's just the RNG thing. I wonder if something was supposed to be found inside the cave that I went into, because I don't see another cave nearby. Let's 
just this cave, right? Unless there's something in here that I missed, I don't see anything that's... What? Like, I have this super hyper frog. I'm just gonna run from this one because the battle talus doesn't really drop anything good. All it does is drop its stone talon heart, but I don't have another weapon that can actually use it right now. Okay, so this tower below the hill has a cave, and it's not that cave. So the only other possibility is there's a cave down here that I missed. I just want to beat the hay. <laughs> I need bananas. Then soldiers fall. Oh, good. Oh, I got two bananas. Okay, so there's supposed to be a cave somewhere. And that's what the guy said. There's supposed to be a mushroom cave, but I don't see anything. Yeah. 
Okay, this is not right. I don't think this is it. But how am I supposed to... Uh... No, I strayed way too far. And I don't have a nearby temple to teleport to. I wonder if, if I drown, would it teleport me back up that hill? Because that way at least I don't have to climb all the way over there again. Okay, good. It did bounce me back up here. Okay, so if this side doesn't have the hill, I mean the mushroom cave, then it's probably on the other side? Like, how hard to find is this mushroom cave? Why is your childhood so difficult to find? Ah. Yep, and then this is the battle talus again. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's fight the battle talus. Using the new stone talus hammer. That did a lot of damage. What? It shrugged me off. Let's eat steamed meat. Now, what can I do with this? Wait, this is a magic stack, right? Oh, whoops. Well, whatever, too late now. I was gonna do something else. Uh, I was gonna try to attack the stone talon, but I accidentally fused it. So. I think I've been recording this one for a while, so I'll be ending it here, and I'll pick up after I figure out how to get this guy's mushrooms. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.